We will have the introduction of both teams. And so in volleyball, if it's the first time you're tuning in for a volleyball match, they'll introduce the entire team. And we'll meet the, first of all, beat the Georgetown Tigers. Hunter Kelly, number three. Mm -hmm. Number five, Cameron Webb. Number 11, Brianna Cathers. Number 13, Olivia Reckenwald. Number 14, Cameron Lazaro. Number 15, Haley Berger. And head coach is Felicia Pace. So the starting, I'm sorry, going to just introduce the starting lineup. So this will be for you, Pike. You're only playing with nine players today. And number three, Megan Frazier. Mm -hmm. Here in day. Oksana Budicic. She'll be a important role for the Bears today. Number 14, Haley Mead, sophomore from East Ridge High School. Number 13, Sarah Clark. And, the, and number 21, Kiara Warren from Floyd Central High School. And the head coach in his seventh season for the Bears. Obed Wales. So, Joel, we're here for some Mid South Conference volleyball action. I'm trying to find our live stats here so we can give you updated stats throughout the ball game as well. Just so that everyone can visualize this, Gary and I are up here in the uh, rafters, uh, the uh, crow's nest uh, back up in the corner. Uh, got a great view of, uh, uh, of the uh, volleyball court. Uh, Gary is decked out with his uh, iPad. <laughs> uh, I have my pen and pad of paper because uh, no one gave me the information <laughs> I should bring an iPad. So um, I guess that, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, there. Oh, oh, we don't, we, we don't live, the live stats are not <laughs> up yet, but I tell you oh, what, yeah. Joel and I will try to keep you entertained and call this ball game yeah. the, the best we can here. As we get ready for the first pitch. I mean, uh, <laughs> the, the uh, uh, toss out. We got the first and 10 on the 14 yard line. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was yesterday. Yeah, that was <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> they know. Knowing how many, knowing how many sports you're calling right now, yeah. uh, my friend. Uh, <laughs> but this, you, is, you know, with with volleyball, it's very fast paced sport. Mm -hmm. uh, there's something I really respect about volleyball. It's regardless of skill level. I'm gonna say regardless of skill level. But athleticism, they can be a spot on the floor for you in volleyball. Yes. You don't have to be the, the tallest, the shortest, the fastest. There's a role that you can play on the volleyball team. And, Joe, we're ready for some volleyball action here. Well, the key the key that, uh, 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 as you referenced my daughter, Jay, when she, in, she was in here that I tried to uh, lay out to her, is this truly is a, a team game. You know, and, and, it, and it will require functioning mm -hmm. as a team to, to win. It, it, it might be um, – uh, okay. So the serve by Haley Berger from Georgetown gets over that Oksana Budicic try to the attack in the middle. Two blockers, including Cameron Webb for Georgetown, sends it back over to Upac side. And we've got an illegal formation that's going to be called on Upac. Which, again, anytime, and also in rally scoring in volleyball, anytime the ball hits the floor or there's a violation called, somebody's scoring points. So we're 2 0 here in the first set. Right. Falls over to you, five. Cause we're trying to go outside. They do so. The tip oh, yeah. up and over. Nice dunk. Nice dink. Don't they call it a dink? A dink. That's mm -hmm. the first. For you, five gets on the board. We're two to one. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you see in volleyball, they'll try to do the. They set up plays. Let's try to get this up here real quick for you too. This is number six. For the Bears, this is Michaela Cook, sophomore from Madison Central. Very light whistles from the officials there, Joel. Mm -hmm. Serves over a nice low serve. Gets in the middle. 
Outside hit by Georgetown. Libero makes a play on for the U-Pike. Well, Ball's tipped at the net by Georgetown, and u Pike tied this one to two. Mm -hmm. Haley Mead, a nice little uh, heads-up play there. And instead of coming back for a, 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 you know, a set, she basically just uh, sent it back over. So Cook will be in the service position once again for the Bears. Serves up and over to the Libero for Georgetown. A nice play by the, an outside hitter number 14 for the Tigers. And Lazaro, the junior from Spain. And number 12, Haley Tillman. She's a freshman, Westerville, Ohio. will check in for the Tigers. Nice play by Georgetown there. Joe, looks like Hugh was setting up for a hit. He went for the block, I mean, the tip over. Serves over the libero for the U Pike. They tie go Vujicic, and her hit is long. Also, let's give a shout out to our line judges here, Joel. We got Kevin Little closest to us, and then John Force Gump Bevins is the other line judge to the far side. Serves into the net. Service there makes it a 4 3 Georgetown lead. We're just here in the early goings of the uh, first set, first game. Number eight, Erica Lee will check in for the Tigers, and Vutacic will get into the service position for the Bears. Serves up and over. Gets deep in the back row for Georgetown. Goes up for the hit. The ball is in, making a 5-3 lead for Georgetown. Just a nice play by Georgetown. Mm -hmm. Found the open hole, Joe. Was able to hit, the, hit the, the, the ball, got into the open spot, got it on the floor. Where the key in volleyball is on the hit is get on top of the ball to get that thing at a downward angle. Yep. Serve is up and over for Georgetown. That's a nice save there. A hit opportunity oh. for U Pike just a little wide, 6 3 Georgetown. And she went she went wide instead of going down the line just to try to uh, uh, get away from the blockers that had set up in front of her. Andy was on the attack there for U Pike. Ball's up and over once again. They're going to go for the second on the right side hit. Ball is able to be bumped up by Georgetown. Going to have a free ball. U Pike going to try to set in the middle. A free ball back to Georgetown. Georgetown's going to try to run the play. Ball is hit off the top of the net, and we're going to have a net violation called. Let's try to get the call, and that was on Hunter Kelly. Hunter Kelly. Hunter Killer. So exit the 6 4 Georgetown lead here in the first set. I think this is Clark on the serve for you, Pike. Nice serve. Hit opportunity to Georgetown. Mm. Nice, uh. nice to save. Georgetown's going to set up the outside hitter. Ball tipped at the net. And it'll be a George point Georgetown, 7 4. So you have yeah, I think that both teams are just sort of trying to fill out, get into normal rotation. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a nice uh, competitive game today. Gatewood check in for Georgetown, and she'll assume the service position. 7-4 here in the first set. Serve is short and low. Hit opportunity for U Fox, saved by the libero for Georgetown. Outside opportunity, blocked at the net. Free ball back over to Georgetown. Ball's tipped mm. at the net. Pancake attempt, unable to do so. 8-4 Georgetown. A lot of action at the net so far, Joel. Yeah, uh, uh, they're going at each other. I mean, it, it's a, it's rather competitive. Take would get back in that service position for Georgetown. Nice serve gets over to the middle for U Pike. A dink. Now you're gonna have another set opportunity in the middle. Indy's tip over. Um, yeah, yeah Indy's too wide. Nine for Georgetown. I think it's gonna be a timeout. Mm -hmm. For the Bears, that's something there, Joel. As far as you have those situations, there was an open spot on the floor near the attack line. The hit was just too long. One of those unforced errors that yeah. Coach Quayles was talking about in the pregame. Well, she's trying to play a little finesse early, and, and it's sort of, uh, you know, as you get loosened up into the game, it's one of those things that will probably drop, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, second or third game, but not in the first. Uh, and, it's, and that's something that uh, Coach Quayles was talking about playing with a limited bench today, just trying to play as – I don't want to say a perfect game, but he was talking about just really got to have to be consistent. Yeah. Not perfect, but got to be consistent. And we've had a couple of errors here, and I apologize if the stats are not working yet. But Well, and, and I mean, from, from our view, uh, the, the Georgetown return game and the set game on the serve has been spot on early uh, because they've had a couple – U-Pikes had a couple of nice serves that look like they've been in the right spot, but their libero and, and uh, back line – 
have uh, done really well to uh, set up the uh, uh, setter and, and set them up. So Gate would get back in the service position for Georgetown. The official calls for the service. Nine for Georgetown here in set number one. Gate Wood serves it over. Tip attempt by the Bears at the net a need. Nice hit by Georgetown. They want to try to run play here in the middle. They do so. Mm. Unable to get that. But that's Cameron Webb. And that's number three. Yeah, that's Keller. Nice play on the inside and in the middle with a tip over the defender's head for U Pike. Gatewood's on a little three point run here for Georgetown. Serves over. Nice save by the Bears Libero. A attack attempt at the net is blocked. Will be a free ball for Georgetown. Ball's up, set for Georgetown. Outside hit. And it's down to 11 4. Again, I think your Georgetown has just seemed to be coming off the, uh, uh, you know, the start of this game, just, just you know, right in a smooth move and, and, and shown it right off. Georgetown's on a little 4 0 run right now. Yeah, that timeout didn't do anything to stop momentum. Gatewood serves up and over. Net violation 11 5. Georgetown with the lead. Now let's see if the Bears can uh, uh, put uh, three or four of these together and uh, hopefully uh, get back into this set. Let's see who's in the service position here for you. I guess it'll be, uh, I think this is Clark, I believe. My eyes are playing. No, it's M Barker. Barker. Number 10. Serves up and over. Nice serve by Barker. Middle hit by Keller, and it's out of bounds, 11-6. That's something the Bears Joel's got to do. They got to get multiple points every time they have the mm -hmm. service. He'll get those points. Keep on stacking on top of each other. Yeah, two to one, three to one. You can get back into this, and and again, I I, I think that the I think that the U Pike uh, service game has really come out and done an, an excellent job to begin this game. Uh, we're in the mid here, and that ball is in. Not nice, nice hit by Georgetown on the end line. Uh, Gump Bevan says that ball is in 12 6. Cathers will get that. Am I allowed to comment from up here in the crow's nest? Uh, uh, this is pretty favorable uh, there. I mean, <laughs> wow. That's why I'm back here and I'm not there. Outside oh, hits a little bit long 13 6. So that's what we're beginning with. We'll talk about once again for. That's why I've got the black shirt on and not the white shirt with the red flag. 13 6, set number one. Serves over. Uh, Serve, uh, serves back to Georgetown. Nice play. Barry's going to try to sip an outside hit. They're able to do so. The boss tip the net. Again, it's staying alive. Nice play by Warren. She has a tip of the net. Blocked there by number 14. It's a Lazaro for Georgetown. Nice play. Bears just aren't getting the the, the balls. I mean, uh, they're not getting the luck, I guess, this first game. It just well, sort of just seems to be going the Tigers' way. Also, Joel, you know, Coach Coyley saw about in the pregame, the height advantage, and Georgetown definitely on the front line has a height advantage. Yes. Vudicic's backhand attempt is wide, and it makes it a 15-6 Georgetown lead. Call out to Liberos real quick here for Georgetown. It's uh, Lincoln, and for the Bears, it's number 14, Haley. Well, not, not me, she's the setter. A block, uh, nice a kill attempt there by the Bears. Really? Free, free ball. A point Bears, thank you. Reels is the Libero for, for the Bears. So you have Lincoln, who has a, for Georgetown, has a different color jersey. And then for U Pike, Reels, who now just checked out. I see who this just checked in for the Bears. That's Dempsey who just checks in. Serves up and over. 15-7, Georgetown. Keller with a attempt. That should be a double hit. And the down official signals it to the up official and makes the call 15-8. So you pocket scored the last two here, Joel. And remember, in volleyball, he played to 25. The first one who wins three sets. Dempsey serves over Georgetown. We're going to try to run an outside hit, hit the top of the net. We're going to have a net violation on U Pike. We'll give a point to Georgetown, 16 8. Can't have, can't, if, if we're going to perform well in the game, we can't have any unforced errors. And, and, and body positioning on, on the court and going into the net is, is an unforced error that we just can't afford. 
Lincoln in the service position for Georgetown. Serves up and over. The serves unable to be handled by the Bears. Make the 17-8 Georgetown lead here in set number one. Samantha Lincoln, a 5-7 junior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Serves up and over. Reels able to tip it. Able to control it, though. Free ball back over Georgetown. Oh. Unable to clear the net. 18-8. One of those things, Gary, that I would always say that we're trying to out outperform. Uh, just, just do the job. Don't, you know, don't, don't do too much. <clears throat> let's, let's trust in our team, and uh, and then go from there. Let's try, you, when you try to make points, and when you, the, as you Pike has been trying to do, you make those unforced errors by hitting them out like that. Nice job of Kiera Warren's there with the outside hit, knocked it off a Georgetown defender, goes out of bounds. Point U Pike, 18-9, set number one. Meade serves over. Nice job here, 18 to 10. Meade served nice, hard, low serve, Joel, to Libero, Samantha Lincoln. Uh, I've been impressed it. early here with the uh, serving ability of the U-Pike Bears. Um, uh, Coach Quails has really gotten them prepared, or this is one of the areas that he's really focused on. Oh, so, uh, nice, guys. Three straight points for the Bears. We're up to, it's 18-11, Georgetown. So the Bears. Front line coming alive there. A nice block. Made to get back in the service position one more time. Falls up and over. A nice low serve once again. There's a hit for Georgetown. Bears able to control it. Warren's attack attempt blocked at the net. And it's mm. going to be out of bounds. There'll be a point Georgetown. Multiple subs coming in for the Tigers. That's 15 burger. Again, that's the height of the uh, Tigers coming to play. And uh, it looked like we were on a little roll there. And, and all of a sudden, the, their front line stands up and, and blocks one back. 13 Rickenwall will check back in as well for Georgetown. Virginia Chicks yeah. dump drops in 19 12 Georgetown. We have number three be checking in Frazier for the Bears. It's going to be interesting to watch uh, knowing the uh, COVID protocol that the Bears have been on on how we perform uh, as we as this game continues to go on, uh, you know, in our second, third, you know, and hopefully uh, we can sweep all three. Yeah. So Cook serves a good one for the Bears, but then number 13, Rittenwald, who just checked back into the game, gets the kill 20 to 12 here in set number one. Got a substitution here coming in for Georgetown. That'll be number 12, Tillman, Haley Tillman, 5'8 from Westerville, Ohio. Georgetown leading this one 20 to 12. Puts down a few dribbles or bounces. I don't know if he actually called that a dribble. <laughs> Jump serve. Nice serve by Rickman Tillman. Ball is long, 21-12. That's a nice serve from the uh, 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 from Tillman over here to the Tigers. Sort of put her up, put our libero out of uh, out of position. You know, Tillman, you know, a short run, 5-8. Some might have discussion between the officials and the players, but Tillman has a nice jump serve. That puts a little different spin on the ball as well, too. He's going to get the ball to Meade. We're going to have net violation on the Bears, make it 22-12. Coach Playlays will call his second timeout here in the mm -hmm. first set, so you get two timeouts per set. Uh, again, it goes back to unforced errors. We just don't have the margin at this point or, or early uh, to, to do that and, and try to build the momentum to uh, try to get back into this game. And during this time out here, real quick, Joel, be, between set one and set two, we have the athletic director sitting beside of me. Hopefully we might be able to get him on for a quick word here between set one and set two. Yeah, that'd be great. I haven't asked him yet, but I'm sure <laughs> Coach Will is always available for an interview. <laughs> The coach, coach Wells is another one of, of course, a very successful basketball coach in his day and running a great job, doing a great job as athletic director at the University mm -hmm. of Pikeville. But also, his daughter, Kaylee Wells, was a, a phenomenal high school volleyball mm -hmm. player for Pikeville High, high School as well. But getting back to this match, we're getting the timeouts almost over. Uh, Georgetown leading this one 21-12, and Tillman will get back in the surface position for the Tigers, wait on the signal from the official. Gets this signal. Stays with a jump serve that is short. 
net serve would be 22-13 Georgetown. And number eight, Erica Lee will check in for the Tigers. We got Brittany Reels to do the serving right now for the Bears. 22-13. Got to get on a little run here, Joel. Yeah, that's, I mean, you look at that, Gary. I mean, if she drops that serve in. I mean, it, it, and again, that was a, a point for for the Bears uh, on an excellent serve. Uh, no, no chance for attempt to uh, return. The serve was so. 22-14. Reels next serve high drops it in once again. Georgetown just has a free ball for the Bears. Let's see if we can get a little something that Haley Mead. Megan Frazier, mm -hmm. ball's tipped. And on the back row, 22-15, starting to build a little bit of momentum. Like you talked about, Joel, trying to get into the offensive rhythm. Just just stay just stay in your lane, you know. Let, let, let's trust in the team, and, and we'll get into this. And, and they've looked impressive the last two times. Real tries to get to the back row this time. Again, it could be a kill attempt. No, it's going to be a free oh. ball. Meade's unable to come up with a pancake. 23-15, Georgetown. We've got a substitute coming in for the Tigers. Get a number as soon as I can for you. Look at number nine, Aaliyah Hole, 5'6 from LaGrange, Kentucky. With the back row, real control over to Meade. To Meade, to Frazier, left handed tip. George hands up with control at Keller's attempt at the net. Falls in 24 15, so this is set point. And stick with us to the break here. We'll have Coach Kelly Wills on with us between set one and set two. Serves over Mead. Ball is tipped at the net. Georgetown can try the outside kill. You can tell that uh, Georgetown has uh, set plays and, and really have some before game communication. Well, so uh, Georgetown will take the first set here, 25-15. Coach Wells is going to jump on here with me real quick and talk to us a little bit about the volleyball program and along with just what's going on at the University of Pikeville. Of course, in volleyball, you don't have – a uh, half time or anything, but anytime we have an opportunity to talk to Kelly Wills, I want to take advantage of this opportunity. So, Coach, Coach Wills, this is our first volleyball broadcast here on the U Pike Sports Network. This is um, this is awesome, I must say. It, it really is great, and you know I can I can share this with everybody now. I'm a closet volleyball fan, so I really enjoy watching uh, good volleyball, and uh, certainly Georgetown U Pike couldn't ask for a better rivalry coming in today. I wish. We weren't as depleted on our roster today. We've got a lot of girls either out. We had one going home for a, um, you know, for a funeral. So it's it's been really hard on our girls. But like I love the fight. The girls are excited, uh, sticking together well, and, and really doing doing as good as they can do. Coach, we talked to uh, Obed Quelles during the uh, the pregame, and Coach Quelles was talking about just kind of that next man mentality up. You know, men, you recruit an entire roster. You just don't recruit just a couple of players. So you really got to. You have an opportunity to play here. You have an opportunity to also learn more more time on the floor, too. And, and you get an opportunity to play positions maybe you didn't think you were going to be playing tonight. So we have some outside hitters that are usually our backline folks, and you can really see the energy and the juice that they're bringing. So I'm, I'm excited about how hard they're playing, and that will carry over. Uh, but I sure hate seeing – uh, some of our girls sitting on the bench in street clothes today as well. Yeah, that Coach Quayles was talking about that during the pregame interview as well too, just uh, the roster being depleted for a variety of different reasons. But, uh, yeah, you, you have an opportunity where this team has done everything they can. You know, the season was taken away in the fall, got to play a couple of matches. And they come back and they do all the necessary precautions and then an injury hits. And uh, it is tough to see them sitting in the street, cold, street clothes, excuse me, uh, during a volleyball match because, one, they're really good volleyball players. Yeah, they, they really are. And they're, they're both outside hitters too, so that's really a – and our setter. So it really takes a lot of our depth away from us. But you have to have the next man mentality, and uh, certainly the girls are doing that right now. You can see them. They're arm in arm and uh, really are, are putting to, together a good effort against a very, very good Georgetown team. So it's going to take a, a mighty – uh, a mighty effort for us to be able to get this, but certainly, uh, as we all know in sports, it can happen at any time. Well, uh, you also we got to we got to remember they can only play six at a time on the floor. It doesn't matter how many we have; they can only play six. But you know, U Pike showed some flashes there, coach, in that first set where they was able to string a few points together. Uh, kind of getting playing some people play different roles that you're talking about just kind of getting the offensive rhythm as yeah well. you, you really do you have to really kind of do some things maybe not even non not even traditional a little bit non-traditional you're trying to do some tipping and some angles on your on your hits uh, Georgetown size is obviously different than our size out here currently uh, but our girls are making some good adjustments we need some breaks 
Uh, we need them to make a few mistakes, and they did. They gave us some service errors and uh, some balls in the net, but we can't, we can't be under the net. We can't be missing uh, our sets and our passes in order to get back in this game. I tell you what, Coach Wills, I believe uh, – you could talk volleyball all day long as well. Well, Joel taught me all I knew. He, <laughs> he trained me up when we first started this, and his daughter and mine played a lot of volleyball together, and uh, it's been a learning curve for sure, but we've uh, we certainly both have fallen in love and enjoyed it. And we definitely try to be given some uh, – we got a notification there's stats. The, the stats uh, side has crashed, so we won't have any stats today, unfortunately, but we definitely – uh, keep up as much as we can today as well. Yeah, it's, it's great. Dak, Dak Stats is the program we use, and it crashed today, and it didn't recover uh, immediately. So Alex got his hands full trying to trying to figure that part out, but he'll do it. We'll definitely try to keep you updated on the baseball and softball and baseball score today as well, too. So as the Bears will have first service, this is number six, Michaela Cook. Served over to Georgetown. Appreciate Kelly Will sitting in with me between set one and set two. Brittany Reels, nice pancake. Kill attempt by Megan Frazier. Georgetown, middle hit. Um, set by Brittany Reels. Georgetown was able to block it at the net. That could be a four-hit violation on Georgetown. U-Pike comes out, scores the first point in the second set. And, Joel, it's always nice to be able to sit down and talk to Kelly Wells and talking some uh, U-Pike volleyball as well, too. So, Bears to jump out one nothing in the second set. Michaela Cook's next serve, line drive, nice pat. I mean, serve, I'm sorry. Over to Webb. Webb is in. It's a 1-1. You back in Georgetown. Yeah, so uh, uh, one of the differences that uh, COVID differences that you're already seeing with the normal protocol and normal volleyball is traditionally after every game they change sides, uh, but uh, this they do not do that now. Oh, uh, that was uh, uh, um, so. I'm assuming now when they do the coin toss at the beginning of the game, they select sides for the whole match. The whole match, correct. Okay. So 2-1, Georgetown, and set number two, Georgetown took set number one. This is Berger on the serve, over to Meade, goes to Fraser. Her hit, her kill is successful, this makes that 3-2, nice of the play from the Bears. Uh, how about 3-1? I'm going to get you, brother. I'm going to run you well, by. A 3-1 three, a Bears. I think there was a correct call. Yeah, yes, yeah. 3-1 yeah, three, three, Bears. I'm, I, here we go. Even better. <laughs> well, look at that hey. service game. I'm just – Gary, I'm, I have been impressed early here with the service game that the Bears have come up with. That's Brittany Reels on the serve. You talked about it, Joe. 4-1 Bears where they got a – Coach Quayle has talked about it. They have to be successful with their serves. Yeah. And she's dropping in like a wedge on a golf course. Written walls. Kill was unable to be picked up by the Bears. That make it 4-2. That's Aaron Eady who's struggled to, uh, struggled to get up. Maybe I don't know if it is a ankle or a knee. He's walking gingerly. Miss Christine, the athletic trainer, runs out on the floor immediately. Andy, she looks like she says she's okay, but I think she may have, she may have to come out of the game since her trainer come on the floor, but they're going to leave her in. 4-2. Tillman will check back in for the Tigers as she'll assume the service position. 4-2 U-Pike. Gary, I just get the feeling that, that, that the Bears are, are, are again, just, just missing the 50-50 yeah. balls, but, but yeah. they really have a shot here today. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was that front line height right yeah. there. But also, you know, you're getting that, that scramble drill there, Joel, where you get the ball towards the, the bench and you have three players going after it, you leave open spots on the floor as True. well. True. So if you're able to control that first ball over, but it's 4-3 U-Pike here in set number two. Tillman with another jump serve. Reels is able to control it to Mead. Kill attempt for the Bears. Tillman's going to set. Uh, Ritten wall knows what to do with the ball when they set there. Yeah, she's got a nice, nice little kill there. Yeah. She gets on top of the volleyball. Mm -hmm. It's 4 4 here in set number two. Well, she came in, the setter put it right where she was expecting it. Tillman again with a jump serve. Gets a little bit deeper this time. Cook with a free ball. Reels. Gets a written wall. Tillman. The ball's blocked at the net and falls in 5 4 Georgetown. Bear, again, Bears early. You, you just let your lead go, but don't uh, don't get out of your game and, and you know, just uh, get us. 
Tillman serves long. Inside so we're out. And, and we're you know, you're tied to five. Mm -hmm. He definitely got we're now I, going I have been impressed since, since we're huh. even with the limited lineup that we've had uh, from the Upike Bears with how well they've played and performed early. So it changed the call. When, for some reason, it's called it in. So it's 6-4 Georgetown. Tillman served this time is long, 6-5. I think the line judge called the last play long, and the up official says, I saw it in, so they went with his call. <laughs> So it doesn't do the line judging in papers. Am I getting a better understanding of why they call this gentleman Forrest Gump? Yeah. I mean, every call is like a box of chocolate. <laughs> you know, yeah, just say it. I'm, not, I'm just kidding. I don't know. The, I'm, he's doing a great job down there. I'm just uh, you know. Clark, Clark's serve is long, and number 15, Berger will be serving for the Tigers. Uh, uh, John Bevins, uh, affectionately known around town as Gump. Uh, and that's what he kind of puts on uh, all of his clothes, like his work clothes and stuff like that. So uh, here's uh, Georgetown, written wall off the top of net. Clark over the reels. Frazier with a free ball. Keller Ooh. out there the reels. Nice play. The oh, Bears yeah, keep nice alive. recovery. Nice. Wait, wait not to be out of it. Free ball for the Bears over to me to the reels. Frazier with a tip. Georgetown's. They're a, a, now they've got a, big, a lot of open spots on the floor. The Bears can get the get control of the ball right now. And oh. the ball falls in, needs tip attempt to the net. Falls in front of her, makes it an 8-5. Lead Georgetown in the second set. And, Joel, there's a lot of, a lot of volleyball action on that play. Well, it, it, and Pikeville didn't panic. I mean, the ball didn't look like they were out. The uh, um, young lady on the uh, Tiger side had a nice little kill, uh, but uh, it went into the net, and they didn't panic. And, and thus saved it, and that's, that's what created all the chaos. Uh, keep your head. Mead goes over to Fraser, who's able to get the kill. Warrens will check back in for the Bears, 8-6 here in the second set. And also number 10, Emmy Barker will check back in, and she'll assume the service position. 8-6 uh, Georgetown, but, uh, but we're, we're now serving. Barker served, nice. High serve to the back row. Killer kill attempt is picked up by Barker. Berger. Meade over to, look like one Warren. Warren with a, a tip attempt, and they will get the kill. Written wall winds up, puts a nice hit on the ball. Meade over to Warren, and they will call her a, a, a two hit violation. 9 6. Warren tried to do the, the chest pass over to an open spot there, Joel, and just had too much. The hands got separated. Just too much action on it, and it just was obvious. So Gatewood to check back in for the Tigers, and uh, we'll assume, and that is Lexi the, the Gatewood. The pass itself wasn't the violation. It was the fact that there was there was English or, or spin on the ball uh, that shouldn't have been there. 9-6 Georgetown here in set number two. Gatewood served high, served to the front row. Meade can go back to Warren's. Outside hit is long, 10-6. Warren's typically a back row player, but today, just due to the limited bench, yep. has played that hitting position just, as well. Just evident that our outside hitters are not there mm -mm. And, and are within our quarantine protocol. Gatewood serving for the Tigers up 10-6 here in set number two. Meade, Indy, blocked at the net. Oh, and nice. See, Meade. again, I mean, this U-Pike team has just got a, uh, uh, I mean, they're, they're just always on it. I mean, they just seem to be very tentative. Keller with the kill there for Georgetown. Again, Upot keeping it alive, but you can, again, the hot differentials coming into play right now. Georgetown's able to get, able to get the ball on the floor a little bit quicker than what Upot can. Gatewood serves up 11 to 6. Meade for the tip over, and it will do anything with it. Gatewood to the outside hitter for Georgetown. Meade warns, tries to side, they will get it down at 11 to 6. I'm sorry, 11 to 7. Hit them, where, hit them where they're not, and she was uh, she was right on the spot there. I think you brought up a good point there, Joel. She saw the open spot and went right there. Dempsey will return for the lineup for the Bears. Hit it right down the four spot. She waits for the the official signal. Dempsey winds up. Again, Gary, I just get the feeling that, that the Bears are, you know, I really would have liked to have seen uh, um, both teams at full strength, but, you know, I know we can't have that, but. I, mean, I like this U Pike team. I mean, they're very, very well organized and at least have a lot of communication. Uh, Kill attempt by Georgetown, touched at the net. Nice hustle by the Bears. 
the ball fall in the stands 12-7. I mean, you, you've got a ball going to the stands, and I have three young ladies over there aggressively going after it. Indy will check back in. Good seat for the Bears, and she'll check out for reels. A libero will come back in. And you can tell there's definitely fight in that team. 12-7, second set, Georgetown. That's Cather's on the serve for the Tigers. Reels get over to Warren's outside punch. Able to do anything with it. Georgetown outside kill. It's blocked by the Bears. Warren's reel with a free ball over to Georgetown. I think they're going to call it a two hand violation on the Bears once again. Makes it 13 7. We're going to have a time called by Coach Quelles. So, Joe, the Bears were up 14, I mean, I'm sorry, 4 to 1 in the second set. And since then, the Georgetown Tigers on a little 12-3 run. Well, it's good to see, it uh, looks like uh, uh, Robert Staggs. Uh, Coach Staggs out today. It's, uh, yeah, Coach Staggs definitely in need of some prayers. He's going through a, a cancer battle. And, yeah. uh, you know, he's been a longtime member here at the University oh of Pike. A variety of roles from athletic director to assistant baseball coach. He's coached the, uh, the volleyball program. He's coached basketball. Currently, the, the head softball coach as well. And, and Joel, I don't know if many people uh, can say this, but he's won a Coach of the Year award in the, for volleyball in the conference. He's won a Coach of the Year award for softball as well, too. And at one time, he was actually the interim soccer coach, too. So he's, uh, you know, came here as a student and just never have left. Well, and, and, and so what you see is the continual growth of the university and, and those that have been here and have, have allowed the university to touch them how much and how easy it is to reinvest your time, energy, and resources back into to not only education but the 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 university itself. And Robert Staggs is definitely one of the good ones. Yeah, so it's good to see him out and good to see him around. 13-7 Georgetown. The second set Warrens over to Mead. Mead can go back to Warrens again. Just hit the top of the net. 14-7. Just just trying to ask you to do too much. Yeah, you know? Warren's is, is five foot four, usually a back row player, but he's been asked to play the outside hitter today. A little miscommunication there. Butchertick, she's going to call it for a two-hand violation. 15-7, Georgetown. And that's just play, players, Joel, have to play different positions they're not used yeah. to. You know, you, you know how many times, you don't know how many times this roster has played together on this floor on these positions. Warren's over to Mead. Warren's with a two-handed pass to the other side of the net. Keller kills, blocked at the net, reels the hustle. She gets a hand on it. It goes backwards and makes it 16 to seven. And now this. this well, you look at this. You look at the U Pike team, and 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 we're we're, we're definitely got some uh, uh, upperclassmen leadership, but but they are full of uh, young, energetic uh, uh, yes. players, and and so this is going to build for. For some success coming down the road. We've got a viol it'll be a point with two hand violation caught on Georgetown makes it 16 8. So the Bears are going to the service position. I'll try to pick up who the service is going to be. Looks like it's going to be Haley Mead. Sophomore from the East Ridge. Again, local young lady. 16 8 Georgetown here in the second Getting set. A quality education and some support through uh, um, you know getting to play some volleyball too. Mead served. Georgetown is on the set. Keller's kill is blocked. And the line judge says out of bounds. 17-8. Georgetown. So Lincoln will go in the surface position for the Tigers. Again, just that half half step off. <laughs> just a half. And that was a step. nice block. Just barely out. Need. Cooks. Over to Georgetown. Kill attempt is down, and the Bears are able to control it. That's number 11, Cather's on the kill for Georgetown. Makes it an 18-8 Georgetown lead here in the second set. Coach Quelles will call another timeout here in the second set. And, Joel, well, again, the Bears started off quickly in the second set up 4-1. to one, But since then, it's been a 17-4 lead run for Georgetown. I think what it shows there is Georgetown's firepower right now. Once they get on a run, the Bears don't have that same firepower today, which is understandable with their roster. But I, like you, I like the grit that they're showing. They're playing hard. They're not dejected. They're hustling after the volleyball as much well, as possible. Again, you would never know that they've had uh, the, the adversity that they've had previously. And, and, you know, it's like investments. You know, your previous actions don't 
dictate tomorrow's results. But but th they have been out there. They have fought very hard, uh, and and they've been they've been in every point. Uh, but but the discrepancy in in, in having our outside hitters uh, being out today, uh, along with that high being gone and having other players put in to different spots, uh, has, has sort of just made us off a step, a half a step, and it's sort of been to the Tigers' advantage. Unfortunately, 18-8 here in the second set. Lincoln will get back in the surface position for the Tigers. Georgetown won the first set. And leading this one 18-8, Lincoln serve up and over. Warren over to Meade. Cook. Point Bears 18-9. I guess what's impressed I'm sorry, me Clark, uh, uh, not the, Cook. The, the most about this U-Pike team is, is they're very attentive to what's going on on the other side. I mean, that young lady dropped that right in the uh, the five spot, and and, and you just I mean, she knew it was was the shot was there. Cook and Frazier check back in for the Bears, and then Cook will go in the service position. Bears trailing this one 18-9. Serves up and over the net. Nice line drive serve. Webb's kill attempt by Georgetown is controlled by the Bears. Meade, Frazier, balls tipped the net, and the ball's down. 18-10. Bears on a little 3-0 run here, Joel. I'm sorry, 2-0 run. They kind of claw back into it. Just got to chip away, chip away a point at a time. Unfortunately, in volleyball, you play to a set number. It's not timed, so it's really it's not really unfortunate. You get in a timed game, yeah, there's a definite. Let me build some confidence, and, and confidence can go a long way. Looks like we got a little bit of uh, you know, floor cleaning. Looks like Kather's is going to do some janitorial work out there. As they all, and it, it shows you Georgetown players getting on the floor trying to get a pancake mm -hmm. if they can. And Pancake is trying to get that hand underneath that volleyball before it hits the floor. So Cook will get back in the surface position with the Bears, 18-10. Line drive serves over the net, controlled by Lincoln. He made a free ball for the Bears. See if they mm -hmm. can do anything with it this time. Need the yep. yep. chick and it should be another free ball for the Bears. It is. Yep. Meade is going to go to Frazier. Her kill attempt is controlled by... Georgetown block of the net. Yep. Well, three zero run here by the Bears. Joe, eighteen eleven. Again, you don't see any any back off or back, you know, step back from from the Bears ladies. So Cook will serve once again for the Bears. Serve line drive over the net. Nice job by Cook. Kill attempt by Georgetown. None successful. Vucic over to Fraser. Ball okay. tip. Eighteen yeah. twelve. Georgetown. Well, that's a 4-0 run by the Bears. And Miss Christine, the athletic trainer, is getting and, into and, it on the bench. And, and what starts that? And what started each one of them? Oh, 19-12. Sol a solid serve. Uh, solid. And, and I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to I didn't want to bring that up. But then she comes up and tries to do a little finesse shot and uh, sadly put it right in the net. But that's okay. I mean, again, it, it, it shows this team that, that you know, they have this. They have what it takes today. Berger, uh, Berger and Wall check in for the Tigers, and Berger's yeah, on the serve. Outside a kill attempt by Georgetown. Block of the net. Just a little miscommunication between Reels and Meade. Makes it 20-12 Georgetown. But it seems like the Bears are starting to get a little bit of rhythm. Figuring out for their positions right now. And Berger serves up and over. Controlled by Cook, Reels. I Frazier. really dig this communication that the Bears team has. Tip over to Meade. Meade over to Frazier. The ball may hit the top of the net, but they the Bears keep on playing, and it's going to be a point, Georgetown. So when you say uh, Georgetown was calling for a four-hit violation when the ball, the kill attempt hit the top of the net, they thought, but thing is, the Bears kept on playing, and unfortunately, Georgetown got the point, makes it a 21-12 lead. Berger serves over the reels. He gets the Meade over the Vucicic, and her kill is out of bounds, 22-12. So Berger will get back into the service position for the Tigers. Her serves up and over. Could be long. It is 22-13. Indy will check back in for the libero, and number 12, Utechik, will check out, and Reels will get into the service position. Just done a couple of dribbles. Nice, solid serve on the line. That ball hit the antenna, which will be out of bounds, 22-14. Uh, 
He's done a great job setting this team up with their serves. Reels I've, I've watched a lot of volleyball, and I'm not sure I've seen a team that, that has uh, been as effective with their serve um, as the Upike Bears has been. Britton Wald with a tip kill. I mean, I think, we're, I think they're only at maybe one or two unforced errors in, into the net. Tillman will check back On in the for the Tigers. 23-14. Remember, we played a 25. Tillman jump serve. Gives it to Meade. Indy for the Bears. Webb. Reels. Frazier to kill attempt. The block of the net makes it 24-14. Georgetown, so we're on set point. Going to give a shout out to a couple of soccer players in here doing the uh, the ball duty on the sides. Tillman serves up and over, controlled by the Bears. Need get it over to Clark, and that ball is long. And Joel Georgetown takes set number two to go, leading this one two sets to none. And as a reminder, in, in in volleyball, he played the best three out of five, and right now the Bears are facing a 2-0 deficit right now. Again, but uh, I, I'm very optimistic if I'm uh, coach. Uh, uh, Quiles. Oh, Quiles. <laughs> Can't get his first thing. I was going to go after his last thing. <laughs> so, so now that we're in, in between games here, it's my chance to uh, to bring up a topic on you that I know that you're not going to uh, be looking for. Oh, okay. So, um, so can you explain to the crowd – you know, one of the most impressive things that I, I, I know about you uh, as my friend is, is is your streak. Okay, and it's not it's not what most people would think, but 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 you today, every two weeks, you you go down to the uh, uh, you know Kentucky Blood Center. That's exactly right, yeah. and I think they're renaming that, or they should rename <laughs> that after you, and and make a donation. Uh, I, I do. So every two weeks, I go uh, have an opportunity to. To donate platelets, and so this is an opportunity of blood donation. They get to give more often every 14 days versus where whole blood is every 56 days. The difference is in a platelet donation, they give you your blood back. They take the platelets out, and the reason why my purpose of my donation is to honor my mom and dad. I lost both to cancer. Okay, and both of them required blood transfusion. Was going through their battles as well too. So every two weeks, Joel, I'm able to get on the bed for a couple of hours as our and take a donation, just think about my mom and dad. Okay, and so so one donation helps how many people? Well, it depends on what level you give. So there are three different levels that you can give based upon a lot, a variety of different things, height, weight, iron level, that type of thing. Fortunately, I'm able to give a level three, and each level helps three patients. So each time I give, I'm able to help out nine patients. That's phenomenal. So, so how difficult was that in the beginning? Uh, in the beginning, it's just a lot of... Um, uh, lack of knowledge on my part. I had a lot of unknowns. I thought it would hurt. I thought it would be too long. Uh, he really didn't need my donation. But once I started doing it more and more, Joel, it's, it's something I look forward to every two weeks. And today made my 173rd time getting on that 173 bed. 173 times. Yeah, 173. So, so, so over 500 patients you have, you have helped over the years uh, with your donation. Yeah, so and then also I'm closing in on uh, 22 gallons. 22 gallons. 22 yeah, gallons. I'm three, I'm three donations away from 22 gallons. So I use that as a little bit of motivation for myself to, on besides on my mom and dad, but also you start seeing the gallon limits and where you've been and that or levels, I should say. It's a, it's motivating. Gary, I'm not quite sure people can grasp that because usually when you go in and they hang a bag of, of, of fluid in the hospital, you know that's only like a, a half a liter, you know, a quarter liter or a liter of stuff, and, and to go in and effectively you know, donate almost, uh, what'd you say? Uh, well, uh, going on 22, you could get 22. 20, yeah, 22 gallons of milk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I mean, you know, but, you know, uh, and, and, and visualize that, but, but, but again, where I'm getting at is, is where we are today with the game, and, and what you, Pike, had to, uh, to go into this is that, that, that it might have appeared like a mountain, but when you, after you, after you basically said, okay, I'm going to go, Okay, we'll go climb that mountain, and after the first time, then then the mystery was gone, and then 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 the mountain becomes we have to work to continue this and put it into my normal routine, and and you you were you were driven by the memory of your parents, and and, and the honor that you give them by, by committing to that, and, and and those people that you save every day based on them. I, I appreciate you bringing it up as well too, but here 
Uh, now he's got the Bears have got a, they got the big task. It's got one point at a time here, though. Yeah. Again, I I I, I just feel that. And they're starting. That's point yeah. one. Yeah. Hey, you say you talk about it, you you can't uh, you can't climb the mountain in one step. You got to take one step at a time to get to the top of that mountain. It is, and, and and we did we did really well during the first phase of the last game, you know, to get to five, and, and then and we won that, and then then at that point we sort of you know lost focus a little bit. So Cook serves a good one, net violation, I believe, on Vucic. Yes, caught on her, makes it ties it to one. Just an aggressive play at the net. Really can't fault her for anything there. Tillman will check back in. And she has been an effective server tonight. Yeah, a little small jump serve. Gets a little different spin on the ball. Gets across the net. Gets back there to Cook, who controls the need to Frazier. Lincoln controls it for Georgetown. Written wall. Kill attempt. Written wall has impressed me today, Joe, on mm -hmm. this outside hitting. Yeah, she's been, she has uh, exposed one of our weaknesses with uh, the two young ladies that were missing because of the COVID protocol. I, 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 this is only the second, I think, or third uh, uh, match of the year for the Bears. Uh, and, and at this point, I will tell you that uh, if I'm sitting in this seat in, in, in eight weeks or, or, you know, in two months toward the end of the season, I, I think this game would be a completely different game. Um, just because of the cohesiveness of, that you see with this team this early. Nice play there by Georgetown to go 3 1. Uli on the kill. This is where they got to kind of control this now here, Joel. They got it. They're, again, if Georgetown wins this set, the match is over. It's 3 1 Georgetown. Tillman serve. Cook bumps it up. Mead gets over to Frazier, who's unable to control it, so it makes it 4 1. And if you'll notice with this, uh, Rotation that we have in right now. We have Butachik, I'm sorry, and then also Frazier as outside hitters. Most of the time they'll go to number three, Frazier, who's closer to the bench. Tillman, jump serve, is long, 4 2. Georgetown. That's well, I think that's her natural side, and, and, uh, and thus we're trying to, I guess, do it what we're accustomed to. Uh, and she's done very well on that side. Erica Lee will check in for the Tigers. Lee will set written wall. They're going to call point Bupike. Two hand violation. The hands got separated too much. Four three. So two straight points here for the Bears. Make that five three Georgetown. Now I don't want to take away. And the Georgetown team is and has been impressive today. In, in these type of games, you've got to show up and, and get the job done and play at one point at a time. Uh, Pike, of course, is, is not playing at full strength, but that's 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 not an excuse either, as Coach said uh, in our pregame with him. Mead gets sort of Frazier kill attempt. Nice job by Georgetown to pick it up. Written ball kill attempt to block at the net. Mead over the reels free ball for Georgetown. kill attempt for Georgetown is blocked at the net. Mead. Clark, the ball is blocked back down. Clark's unable to, to handle the block. It makes it a 6-3 Georgetown. We'll update on the baseball team here. Bethel leading U-Pike 3-0. Top of yeah. the fourth inning. It's a nine-inning game We've got to turn today. that around. And the, the potential to get it uh, get the sweep you today. Get, you get the series win. They series win. Today. Oh. Indies uh, block. I mean, I'm sorry, attack is blocked. Ball is touched at the net. The Bears are playing this one. Nice job by the Bears to scramble on that one. Keller's a, a kill is on the floor, makes it 7-3. Keller is, we called her name quite a bit today, Joel. She, when she gets on that, uh, on that front row, she's a, a tough player to handle for the Bears. Serves up and over Georgetown. Well, Clark. At, at six feet, it doesn't hurt. Frazier's block, the kill's blocked the net, and I assist by the Bears, unable to control it, though. 7-3 Georgetown. Coach Quelley's maybe wanting a timeout. And we're going to see that you know, the young lady, the Keller young lady, for a couple more years looks like because she's only a sophomore. But, but again, it, 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 as they always said uh, when I was in high school, you, you can't coach height. Can't coach. You know, yeah, I mean, that's the one thing you can't coach. And so Georgetown's up eight three. A little four zero run right now by the Tigers. Well, again, let's get to this. Let's try to come back and get this second phase of of the you know the, the second five set of points and 
and you know just build small things like that but I have been impressive with the Georgetown team today uh, you can tell that they do have some height and and, uh, and their and their 6-2 system has, has worked uh, but but rightfully so on the uh, U Pike side uh, the the serving the effective serving that we've had uh, and and the attentive play we've been uh, uh, we were never out of a play uh, there's either two or three young ladies even when it seems like the hits are going to go uh, afar that are uh, out there hustling to try to get to that just in case so we're getting in the third set Georgetown's up two sets to none Georgetown leading set number three eight to three. Ball's gonna be long, make it eight to four. Gonna have the sub coming in. Looks like maybe for the Bears. No, it's gonna be for the Tigers. And that's gonna be number two. Uli will come in and she'll check out for the libero Lincoln. For the Bears, I see who this is serving. It's number ten. That's Barker with the serve. Nice serve. Lincoln's able to throw for the Tigers. Kill attempt to block the net by Indy. Eight five. It's a two zero run for the Bears. Nibbles, just give me a nibble. Just give me a nibble. Give me a nibble and let me just build on that. So I guess Barker, blocks. Barker was waiting for the serve. And for the signal, I'm sorry, the serve's high, a little bit high longer this time. Keller off the top of the net. That's mm. where the net and situation there, Joel, really helped out the kill attempt. Because I think the Bears had the kill defense, but when they hit the net, ricocheted to the left, got on the floor, makes it 9-5 Georgetown. Now you have Gatewood to check in and go into the service position for the Tigers. She looks over to her coach to get this signal of what position they want to serve to. The Bears control it. Need over to Indy. Balls tipped the net. 9-6. Georgetown leading set number three. I think Coach... Uh, 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 Quayles will be basically be able to take today's game and, and go back with a positive spin. You know, we're not out of it yet, but uh, but I, I've seen some positive things here for the Bears uh, just in the two sets, that, two games we played thus far. Kill attempt by the Tigers. Brittany Reels is able to dig that one up. It's going to be a three ball for the Bears. One run, run outside hit. The ball is tipped. Reels with the pancake, but the Bears unable to control it. 10-6. Um, apologies, that last serve was from. Parker. Now you're going to have a substitution here for Georgetown, number seven. Bennett looks like she'll be checking in the ball game, along with number 14, Lazaro. Ten six, set number three. Georgetown leading this one two sets to none. The down official is checking the alignment to make sure they have the correct rotation. So the down official volleyball is focused on the defensive side and the net. The up official is focused on the offensive side and the ball. So they got the alignment correct, so it's 10 to 6. A couple of dribbles here for number 11. That's Papers on serve. Ball is up and over, blocked attempt at the net. The Braves are able to get it back over to Georgetown. Nice play by the Bears. there. Kill attempt by Bennett, block of the net, pancake attempt, ball still up. Ball hustle still, but 11 6, the ball falls. Had a lot of bears on the floor on that one, Joel. Mm -hmm. Again, I, th 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 their hustle has been uh, uh, exciting to see. You're never out of a game if you're hustling. Serves up and over. Need. Indy. Nice job by Lincoln to dig that one up for the. Tigers, Ben has attempt over to Warrens, Mead. Back to Warrens with a punch attempt. Georgetown's able to control it. Keller, the ball is tipped a couple of times and falls down 12-6. Young lady hit that ball on the way down, Gary. <laughs> it was. It looked awkward, it looked clean. It, 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 yeah, it, it did, just, uh, you just, know. It looked uh, awkward though, like I mm -hmm. said, you're coming down. Uh, Keller, that yeah. was Keller again. And thus you made that, almost like that half a second uh, Pickup when you weren't expecting the ball to be hit, and Casey's over to, over oh, to Meade, and Meade that ball is just like you said, a half a fraction outside of the line, mm -hmm. makes it 12-6. That line over there, I think, curves in. <laughs> Casey serves up high arcing serve. 
Mead tips the ball over. Bennett with the kill attempt. Warns digs it out over to Mead. Warns. I go to Georgetown. Outside hit for the Tigers. Blocked at the net. Gatewood over to Bennett. Barker warns with the kill attempt. Mead. Nice rally. Reels over to Mead. Back to Warrens. I've been impressed with the with the communication from Reels. Uh, she's always always chatting. Free ball. And it's long. 14-6 Georgetown. And thus you can tell she's sort of the leader on the floor. Uh, you know, trying to make sure people are directed in the right way and everybody knows where she is in that moment. 14-6. Ahobe Quellis will call his and set number three. Again, Georgetown takes set number one and set number two. If they win this one, the, the match is over. But like you said, Joel, it seems like out of the gate, the Bears are really good up until about five, and then Georgetown goes on a run. Uh, again, a lot of times you have to wonder, if, again, if it's just the rotation. Uh, also, when your outside hitters are out, it's hard. You count on those outside hitters for the offense as well. Yeah, I mean, and, and again, you're sort of just offbeat. They're coming out of uh, uh, being a uh, COVID protocol. Uh, coach was telling us some of the uh, uh, things that they were having to go through to get their uh, uh, players back into, you know, active uh, and on the uh, on the bench, uh, and it sounded pretty extensive. Uh, so the medical staff here and uh, at U Pike are, are making sure that the, the young ladies or, or the, any of the athletes are, are still, you know, not in question and, and that they're actually capable uh, from uh, from coming back into play. Set number three, 14 6 Georgetown. Cater's still in the serve for the Tigers. Serves up and over. Need. Indy, the ball is blocked the net. Get back over the Tigers. Kill attempt by Keller. And it's down 15 6 Georgetown. You, you, you know what? I'll, you know what? I'll do this, Gary. Uh, um, you know, I'll challenge any of the high school coaches uh, in the area, in the region. You know, you, you need to bring your high school teams to see these games. Uh, I've been in, I've been impressed uh, not only with uh, the atmosphere, not only with the quality of play, uh, but to to generate some excitement and, and a nice little change of pace. There are a few little uh, a few um, high school players in, in the crowd today, but but it would just be I think would be a great thing to bring those individuals out to experience this uh, at the next level. 15-7 Georgetown Dempsey will check in for the Bears, and also I think it shows you the skills needed. To be a good well, volleyball yeah, and, and, well. and, and I think that it would help uh, the volleyball players to basically say, you know, I need to work a little harder or, you know. Right. So the Tigers going over to Bennett. The outside kill down the line is good, 16-7. Bennett, 5'11", uh, sophomore outside hitter from Maui, Hawaii. I, doubt so, if so. I don't think she's probably enjoying this weather. Joe. Yeah, no, maybe today. Yeah, maybe, maybe today, you know, yeah. A little tropical rain outside in the mid-50s. Lincoln in the service area for the Tigers. Her serves up and over, controlled by Warrens. Nice job by the Bears hustling. Reels gets it over on a free ball. Uh, chick with a dip. And I have been impressed with you, Pike, uh, um, effectively not putting it where you traditionally expect it to be. Uh, just to try to throw off the Georgetown Tigers. Bennett's uh, kill attempt goes into the net, makes it 16-8 Georgetown. It's number 14, Haley Mead I'm in the service area for the Bears. Serves up and over. Lincoln's able to control for the Tigers. Tip attempt goes into the net, 16-9 Georgetown. Again, I would, I would like to see the stats on uh, our first service scores or our first service uh, 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 miss hits uh, from Georgetown because the serving for U Pike today has been right on. Ball in, hits the net, goes over. Booty oh, chick's able to kill. 16 right 10. And if you're able to hit the top of the net and just make it spin down, that's okay. But yeah. that's, that's, <laughs> I don't know if you can do it every time, though. 16 mm -hmm. 10. Haley Mead helped the Bears on a little 2 0 run. Serves up and over. Line drive to the back row. Kill attempt by Georgetown's outside and out 16 11. So the Bears on a 3 0 run here. Just get them to talk to themselves and then they're trying to do too much. And therefore the Bears can come right in and, and again operate as a team effectively and, and uh, take a few points. And Bria Uli 
Gets the kill on the inside there for Georgetown. Makes a 17-11. Berger will check back in for the Tigers, along with Rittenwall. Uh, the other thing that I think that, uh, that U-Pike has done with their serving is they've used the whole court. Uh, they have not pounded one area. They have, uh, uh, you know, spread it around in different types of serves, short, long, hard, jump serves, uh, but they have utilized the whole uh, court to try to throw off the uh, Georgetown Tigers. Clark's a kill attempt goes into the net, makes it 18-11. Georgetown serves up and over. Warns over to Meade. Clark's kill attempt is blocked. Uli for Georgetown. Meade's going to set up Vudicic. And the ball is down. Makes it 18-12. And he'll have, looks like that's uh, Cook checking back in for the Bears. He'll handle the serving. And Megan Frazier. Frazier's had a good afternoon for the Bears. He called her name a couple of times. 18-12. I like this U Pike volleyball program. Yeah. I mean, I liked her interaction with the coach. I liked his outlook. Um, I like, uh, I like, from what I've seen of the execution of the game plan that he, he, you know, uh, shared with us. Um, I, I, I love, love the attitude of the players. I mean, there's, they've worked hard, they've hustled, uh, and they've been supportive and talkative. 1912. Kilman will check back in for the Tigers. She gets in the service area. Jump serve, controlled by the Bears. Meade will get the first block at the net. That's number 11, Cather's on the block. Makes it 20 to 12. In set three, Georgetown took the first two sets. They should win this one. The match will be over. The Bears are trying to stay alive. Tillman jump serve up and over the net. Meade punches it back, free ball for the Tigers. A little miscommunication there. Berger, the Meade, Mead, free ball back to the Tigers. Written wall, kill attempt is in, 21-12. And Joel, I'm telling you, the written wall is a freshman outside hitter from Louisville, Kentucky. Her and Keller is not, not going to be too fun to watch him play for the next few years. Well, again, you know, I want to, I want, I want to be at uh, full strength. Yeah, Tillman, but sir. they, uh, uh, they have been spot on today. Meade. Ball's blocked at the net. Georgetown Cathers. Ball's in 22 12. Right now, Georgetown's got a little bit of offensive rhythm. But but I, I will tell you this that the sort of uh, uh, the Georgetown uh, player of the game for me is the uh, young lady, the uh, Tillman young lady right here. Mm. Uh, not only been their setter, but but she is uh, she's done an effective job serving. Just Ball, the, I'm sorry, that's kill attempt is long 23 12. Tillman's done an excellent job. Every time she got into the service area, they scored multiple uh, points each time she's got into the service area. Just that slight jump. Reels over to Meade. Kill attempt, controlled by Georgetown. Cathers, the ball is down. As I was gonna say, out of bounds. 23-13, I thought the ball may have been tipped by Reels, but Reels must be able to get her hands down. The line judge said the ball's out, was not tipped. 23-13 here in the third set. Gonna need a nice little run here. <laughs> just like we <laughs> saw, just like I saw on the basketball court on Friday, I and mean, Thursday uh, by the announcer here. Uh, ball's out of bounds, 24-13. What was that, nine threes? Uh, Eight sure, in a row? Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. I, you, you was hot that morning, Joel. Yeah, you hit those nine threes yeah, in a row. Yeah, hot not being yeah. like uh, I was hot mad. 24-13. <laughs> this is actually match point now. And Berger will step into the service area. Balls up and over. Meade gets it to Frazier. Her kill attempt is blocked by Georgetown. Rittenwall, the freshman, off the top of the net. The ball drops in. Georgetown will take this one, 25-13.